Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at a more difficult example of the difference of two cubes. Now, just a reminder of the formula for the difference of two cubes. We have a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Now, the example that we're going to look at uh, in this video is 135x cubed minus 625y cubed. Now we have an x cubed and a y cubed, so we have a suspicion that it's the difference of two cubes, but 135 and 625 are not cubed numbers. So we need to take out a common factor uh, first. So the common factor I'm gonna take out is five. If we take five outside the brackets, we're gonna be left with 27x cubed minus 125y cubed. Now 27 and 125 are both cubic numbers. So I can write 27 as three cubed and I can write 125 as five cubed. So I'll rewrite my expression as five times three X to be cubed minus five Y to be cubed. And now I can just go ahead and use my formula on this part here. So I'll have five times, it's gonna be the first minus the second. So that's three X minus five Y. It's gonna be the first squared. So that's three X squared. It's gonna be plus the first times the second. So plus three X times 5y and plus the second squared, so plus 5y squared. Now I just have to tidy up inside these brackets here, so I'll get 5 times 3x minus 5y times, now 3x to be squared is going to give us 9x squared. 3x by 5y is going to give us 15xy. And then 5y times 5y is going to be 25y squared. So here I've factorized 135x cubed minus 625y cubed. And my factors are 5 times 3x minus 5y times 9x squared plus 15xy plus 25y squared. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask them in the comments below. Uh, if you click this link here, that'll take you to a more difficult example of the sum of two cubes. Thank you, see you next time.